The city of Spokane is investing millions of dollars in new construction throughout the city. The single largest project for this year being renovations to the Post Street Bridge. Now the city is also planning to delay several projects that are already in the works because of the effects of COVID-19. The city's 2020 construction plan includes $70 million spent on public infrastructure construction to improve streets, protect the Spokane River, and invest in its water and sewer systems. These are considered essential projects, so crews can begin work even during the stay-at-home order. Another $10 million is being invested in street work for 2020 and 2021. The mayor's Economic Recovery and Stimulus Task Force recommended this additional investment, and Mayor Nadine Woodward says these projects will help the community get back on its feet following the steps taken to stop the spread of COVID-19. Typically, $1 million in public construction investment equals to about 10 to 20 very good paying jobs in our community. So this is more important now than ever before. It's also a great time to go to work on our streets and bike paths and sidewalks when there's less people using them. City leaders acknowledge road construction can be disruptive to traffic and daily commutes, but this is not much of a problem right now due to the stay at home order. And that is why the city is now focusing on streets with typically high traffic. By getting these projects out now would result in less impact to our communities. Other projects this year include upgrading traffic signals on the Hamilton Corridor and wrapping up work on the sewage tanks next to the downtown library. But because of the coronavirus crisis, the city is delaying work to East Sprague Avenue. It is not expected to be completed on time. And some work needed to accommodate the North-South Corridor project is also being postponed to later in the year. Amanda Rowley, CREM 2 News.